So I want to show you guys this exercise, a very, very simple exercise to help you with hammer-ons and pull-offs, mainly just pull-offs, really. Uh, it kind of helps you down the fretboard or descending that you'll see us do this exercise. So what I'm doing, I'm just playing a G major scale. Well, actually not a G major scale. I'm playing a G mixolydian scale, but I'm in the key of C major, right? And I'm just ending on the key or ending on the note G, right? It's a little off, right? And then I'm, that's my home. C major is my home key. But anyway, I'm descending this scale from the G on the 12th fret on the G string. All right, and I'm playing double notes. But what I'm doing, I'm not plucking every single note. I'm playing. So I'm, I'm using hammer-ons and I'm using pull-offs really mainly for the most part. So there's a pull-off right there and then I'm plucking the next note. So there is a specific pattern. How did I do it? I gotta slow it down. It's so tough to do slower. Yeah, so pluck, pluck, pull off, pluck, pull off. And you're basically repeating the same exact thing down, in, down the fretboard or down the scale. And for the most part, I'm doing three notes per string, but when I shift, when I get down to the A string, I'm using a couple more notes uh, just to shift down the fretboard in order to get me to that G uh, on the third fret E string. And then the rest of the way down, I'm kind of just shifting and not usually, not really using a pull off. Uh, so, but you can accomplish the same exact thing going up in the other direction using a hammer on. So I just think of like the positive and the negative side of side of a battery or just, you know, kind of making sure things balance out. I would think, you know, the opposite of pull ons or pull offs are hammer ons, right? So once you go up in the, in the opposite direction, going descending, you usually want to pull up, you usually want to do a pull off descending. Okay, so. So the pull off motion is pulling, literally pulling the string to the next string below it in pitch. Okay, so that's it's pull off. Think of it that way. Hammer on, usually you're going up, you know, uh, in pitch, usually, right? That's not the golden rule, but usually that's that's what, it, that's what it means. Uh, another way is you can actually look at this as well is just literally just plucking one string. Uh, using every single start of the string, just plucking that first note and playing the rest of the strings with pull-offs. So same exact concept. So I'm using the same exact concept, but just pulling off or the same exact scale, but just plucking that first string on the G string, first string on the D string, that first string when I get to the A string, and the first note uh, I should say first note when I get to the string. Uh, so first note when I get to the G string, first note when I get to the D, first note when I get to the A, and so on with the E. So I have to do the, the double amount of pull-offs, right? So pluck, pull off, pull off, pluck, pull off, pull off, pluck, pull off, pull off. I'm plucking that one just so it won't, it won't, uh, <laughs> So the note can come out. So pluck, pull off, pull off, pluck. Here is a little bit difficult because you're you're pulling off a whole step and it's a little bit tougher to do that. And I have kind of run out of fingers. <laughs> All right. So I'm just using doing the the opposite going up in that direction. So talk about the other side of it or the flip side um, of pull-offs or hammer-ons. So there's tons of different ways and I, want you, I don't want you guys to get stuck or locked on to a certain way that you have to do it or a certain pattern that you have to do like pluck, pull off, pluck, pluck, pull off, pull off, pluck, pluck. Like I don't want you to get you know, used to that or you know, accustomed to having to play like that. You see in the beginning, like I was going crazy. I sounded like I was you know, speaking another language or something talking about pluck, 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 pull off, pluck, pull off, pluck, pluck. That's tough to remember. Uh, but whatever feels good, whatever uh, situation you're in at the moment, adjust to it. 
So hopefully this makes a little bit of sense to you guys. Uh, just making sure you have some options when you're uh, playing because sometimes just using pull-offs and hammer-ons gives you a completely different feel or a completely different sound slash tone than playing regularly or playing or plucking every single note. Um, I played the wrong note in there. You know, I can choose what I want to pluck, what I don't want to pluck, uh, what I want to hammer on, what I don't want to hammer on. Versus. It just adds a little bit of variety to it. It may seem like it's a cheat code. It may seem like it's a little lazy, but I just think of it as being different. <laughs> Just sounding